Well, the recent spike in cases in the state has also been hitting inside long-term care facilities. But an investigation at a Beechwood nursing home has led to three employees getting fired. Tiffany Tarpley is following this story for us today. And Tiffany, it is so important to keep an eye on those highest risk. Yeah, most vulnerable here, Betsy. There are nursing homes in our area that have had to deal with dozens of cases at a time, both residents and staff testing positive for the virus. Montefiore and Beechwood is now dealing with a similar situation. I'm told last week they saw an increase in cases. They called the county and state for help after testing all 500 staff and residents with the help of the National Guard. 34 residents came back with positive test results. A representative says those residents have now been isolated. But according to an internal memo during the investigation, a member of the nursing staff raised concerns that original tests might not have been conducted properly. So that memo goes on to say it was found that false test results were submitted uh, which is failing to follow official protocols and procedures, they say. So the director and assistant director of nursing, as well as the facilities administrator, were fired. The state cannot comment because this investigation is ongoing, but it is unclear how long that investigation might last. We're being transparent. We're letting them do their thing. They're the experts. They're the regulatory authorities. We are not standing in their way. We're open book and let them do the job. That's what we're doing. We take it very serious, and they do, too. And so, according to Montefiore, there have been no positive test results since that situation. They say everything is now under control. But according to that memo, the testing issue was limited to a short period of time and only involved those three staff members that I mentioned. Betsy, I was told one unit inside Montefiore was affected, but because of privacy laws, they can't say which unit that was. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, the nursing homes especially, they literally just opened up to visitors once again. So people have gotten that face to face time with their families. And now certainly uh, this is not great news for them, but hopefully they're going to continue to be as careful as possible. Tiffany Tarpley, thank you so much.